let us start the telangana movement the idea of telangana mobilization phase and the formation of towards the formation of telangana from 1956 to 2014 the syllabus has been designed in such a way that it will be useful for all telangana exams and all all the slides are based on previous year questions now let us start first the very first thing is the telangana regional council the telangana regional council consisted of 20 members consisted of 20 members out of which nine will be the legislature from nine districts from telangana six legislators mps and mlas elected by the mlas belonging to telangana region belonging to telangana region there will be five non legislative co opted members the cm and deputy cm from telangana will be head will head the council that is telangana regional council the cabinet ministers from the telangana will be special invited in the telangana regional council this was your first slide second slide let us talk about some of the tribes the very first tribe is konda reddy tribes the konda reddy tribes in telangana lives majorly in varangal khammam and godavari river river valleys areas godavari river valley areas the main occupation of the konda reddy tribes are agriculture kodu cultivation that is shifting cultivation food gathering and cattle rearing the konda reddy tribes never use plow for their cultivation instead they use small bamboo sticks instead they use small bamboo sticks to dig the earth and spread the seeds they are believed to be the offspring of courageous bhima these are the options which were seen in the examination related to the tribes next the next slide deals with koya tribes this koya tribes majorly live in the areas of varangal khammam and some part of nalgonda district as well as east and west godavari district they worship the sun and the moon they are the worshippers of sun and the moon basically they worship the nature they also known as konda doras they are known as lord of the hill believed to be the offspring of bhima this koya tribes are believed to be the offspring of bhima koya leader jampanna fought against the pratapa rudra of the kakatiya dynasty saraka sarama next the saraka saralamma sacrificed the saraka saralamma sacrificed their life and became goddesses it is one of the famous jatra which is being celebrated the jatra is saraka saralamma jatra is also known as medaram jatra okay let us go to the next slide telangana sebar sri so who are, who what was telangana safeguard group telangana safeguard group only aim was for the implementation of safeguards of telangana next the leader of the telangana safeguard group was venkata ramana he wanted to he wanted united andhra pradesh as well as the safeguard for telangana this telangana safeguard group was supported by cpi affiliated student organization this is very important question which will come okay next slide telangana rakshana samiti what a what of telangana rakshana samiti mulkis should be given jobs the first demand of the telangana rakshana samiti was mulkis should be given jobs non mulkis should be sent back the non mulkis should be the non mulki should be sent back third special interest should be taken in developing the industries in telangana special interest should be taken in developing the industries of telangana 
and one of the major demand was 100 crores 100 crore rupees should be allotted to telangana for its development this was one of the most important demands of telangana rakshana samiti next come to vishalanda now what is vishalanda on 5th november 1955 d then cm who was the then CM? Andhra State, Bejawada Gopala Reddy passed their resolution in the Andhra Assembly in favor of Vishal Andhra. In favor of Vishal Andhra. The, the most important provisions of the resolutions were they will give reservation to Tilangana locals in terms of employment, education, and other sectors. Next, the last slide for this short video. Gurugula Ramakrishna Rao. Who was Gurugula Ramakrishna Rao? He was one of the founding member of Hyderabad State Congress, which was formed in Nizam's period. He is also the first CM of Hyderabad State. And he supported land reforms, protection of tenants. Indian standard rupee was implemented. He started educational schools in every village of having more than 500 population. He was also the first governor of Kerala in 1956. So by this, we complete our short video of Tilangana movement. Thank you.